All right, welcome back to another Mr. Y ukulele tutorial video. This is just to help you out in case you want to practice at home on your own ukulele or you want to catch up and uh, get ahead of the rest of the class or one of the others. Um, uh, this video is going to be focusing on changing from one chord to another. So you know all these chords. Great news. Now let's put them together. Uh, we don't know how. We're going to learn how. So, so far we've learned C, A minor, F, and G. Um, we can play them, but can we put them together in a song? Um, songs have us changing chords really fast, like this. I'm not going to make you do it that fast, of course, that would be crazy. We're going to go it so much slower and so much more spread out because we have to learn how to put them together. Um, the chord order that I'm going to want you to put them in is C, A minor, F, G. Just the order that we learned them in. And we're not going to go each one at a time. We're going to play each chord four times. Now don't try it yet, just listen to me because this is how I want it. It's going to go C, two, three, four, changing chords, changing chords, A minor, two, three, four, changing chords, changing chords, F, two, three, four, changing chords, changing chords, G, two, three, four, changing chords, changing chords, C, two, and then you're going to repeat that until you can do it really well. Now, we're going to play each chord four times, and I want you to actually say C, two, three, four. Not just to help you keep count, but to help you keep time. Because if we just go C, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, we're not really learning anything. We want to make sure that we're spacing it out, we're thinking about it, we're using our fingers, we're watching ourselves. I want you to look at your hands to make sure you're doing it right. Now the most important part is the changing chords, changing chords. We're going to say that twice in between every chord. Now I want you to do that because you're going to actually change chords. You're going to do what you're saying. So if I'm starting at a C, C, two, three, four, changing right here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move my finger to a minor because I know that's coming next. So you have to think about where you're going, also what you're doing. Now, do I just put my finger up here and play? It's not going to sound good, and I have to think about, okay, what do I have to do to play an A minor chord? I have to hook my finger. I need to use my middle finger. Am I making sure I'm not touching any extra strings? Um, is my finger pressing down hard enough? We have to think about all those things in just that short amount of time. Now, if the time I've given you isn't um, enough time, you can always slow down the YouTube video. There's a little thing in the bottom corner, I think on this side, um, that's got a little... Uh, looks like a gear you can slow down by playback speed but you can also just do it without me and you can add extra changing chords you could add three changing chords or four changing chords as much time as you need until you can get to do it so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do it twice let's just go from C to A minor let's do it together start on C which is the first floor third building and let's do it together here we go one two here we go C two three four Changing chords, changing chords, A minor, two, three, four. Did you get it? If you didn't, go back, try it again. Do that as many times as you need. I'm going to be here forever on this video. Go ahead and use uh, the video as you need. All right, let's go ahead. Let's do C, A minor, and F. Now, F, when we go from A minor to F, all we have to do is put one finger down. A minor, F. A minor, and then we're going to put this finger on the second floor of the first building. So let's go from C to A minor to F. Here we go. One, two, slow, here we go. C, two, three, four. Changing chords, changing chords. A minor, two, three, four. Changing chords, changing chords. F, two, three, four. Did you get it? Right? If not, go back, try it again. If that was way too hard, go back to just the C and the A. All right? If you did get it, let's keep moving on. Let's go C, A minor, F, and G. Here we go. 
C, two, three, four. Changing chords, changing chords. A minor, two, three, four. Changing chords, changing chords. F, two, three, four. Changing chords, changing chords. G, two, three, four. Changing chords, back to C. C, two, three, four. Changing chords, changing chords. A minor, two, three, four. Changing chords, changing chords. F, two, three, four. Changing chords, changing chords. G, two, three, four. Changing chords, changing chords, and C. And you can keep going and keep going if you made mistakes. Um, I want you to keep practicing that. As you get better at it, take out a change in chords. Go C, two, three, four. Changing chords. A minor, two, three, four. Changing chords. F, two, three, four. Changing chords. G, two, three, four. Changing chords. C. Or, if you get really, really good at it, don't have any change in chords. Just do this. C, two, three, four. A minor, two, three, four. F, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. C. So you can do a lot of things to help yourself, but the thing is, is that you have to get there and practice it. All right, the more you play, the better you're gonna sound and the more music we're gonna be able to make together, whether it's in class or it's by yourself at home with your ukulele. Um, keep practicing. You can always go back in different parts of the videos. You can go to other parts of the videos. If your F chord isn't sounding great, you can go back to that video and you can see what you might be doing wrong. G chord, A minor, C, all those good stuff. Um, just remember, keep practicing, keep watching the videos, and as always, be your musical best.